since I've sang to you, so that hardly counts. Mm -hmm. mm. Good God, it's been a long time. Oh, it's only been two weeks and a bit, but it feels like forever, especially when you come back and you see how much work that you have to do. I mean, kids are going back to school today. Well, most kids are those who have a schedule that I understand. Back when I was a kid, you went to school for nine months and you were off for three months. That's not how it is these days, but in my mind, the day after Labor Day will always be the beginning of school. Even in this weird state where some people go to school a week before Labor Day. Which totally sucks because that's when the state fair is still going on. But when I get back today, I just see how much homework I've missed. And unfortunately, I have to catch up. And because homework is actually frowned upon, you shouldn't be taking your work home with you. God knows I sure didn't. I spent most of the day catching up. So I've actually been here 10 hours. I got here, well, it hasn't been 10 hours. But I got here at 9.30ish or thereafter. This is before 10, I know that. I'm not used to seeing only one digit in the hours when I get here. But it is now 7.16 p.m. and 86 degrees. Hit 90 again today, so it's just as well that I've been in working. My wife works until 10, so I don't have a super incentive to get home. Actually, I should get home and cook something, except I don't think there's any food in the house. So I should go to the grocery store, although because I'm just about out of gas and don't feel like walking around a grocery store. But I do like food. Get away the options. Let me tell you how I spent my vacation. For pretty much the entire first week, I was sick with a cold. So it's great that my body knows when I don't have to go into work and just completely shuts down and lets cascading waterfalls of rivers of liquid ooze from my nose without me being able to stop it. So... So much for getting anything done. There was a lot of sitting in bed, watching television, being on the computer, which really is the perfect staycation anyway, except for the fact that I was not well and felt awful. Let me give you a quick recap of some of the medicine I tried while I was sick. Uh, I had some Sudafed, not Sudafed, Corafed. That was the fake Sudafed that they had in the office first aid kit back when I worked at XO in California. So it expired in 2001, and probably would have been better used to make meth than to take as a medicine. It didn't work very well. I suppose that when the freshness date was 11 years ago, you shouldn't expect the medicine to work very well. Uh, I had some store brand Benadryl, uh, Roundy's brand, uh, what the heck's that stuff called? I knew the medical name for it last week because I was taking it. It also didn't work very well, which makes sense because I wasn't experiencing allergies. I was having a cold, which leads me to Alka-Seltzer plus cold. There's two versions. There's the nighttime one to knock you out, and then there's the regular one. They're both excellent, and I love them. And it must be all that fizzing action. 
or that great classic sparkling taste of it can only be Alka-Seltzer. But still good. Even just expired or near expiration. I don't know why all my medicines expired. Oh, because I never take it. That's why. So unless Kim takes it, it doesn't get used. And she has her likes and her dislikes. She likes the Alka-Seltzer too, though. So, pretty much medication-free. But plenty of tea. Got to keep my caffeine levels up. <sighs> that was my week. That, uh, watching the Republican National Convention. Don't know why. I guess I wanted to see the Ron Paul guys get jobbed live. And I did. So it was pretty easy. Jumping off the bandwagon and jumping right on the Gary Johnson bandwagon. Let me tell you about Gary Johnson. He's a libertarian running for president. Believe it or not, you do not have to vote for the lesser of two evils. You can ignore both them dudes. Go outside the lines. Go outside the box. If enough people were to wake up and vote libertarian, or even vote green, or vote constitution, or, I'm not sure any of the other ones are worth mentioning. Sorry, socialists. Sorry, peace and freedom socialists. If we could just keep the Democrats and Republicans from getting their 45% each, or 48% each, what is it they get? I don't know. My point is, there are other points of view and there are parties that are willing to work for you because they are so desperate to get uh, votes. Not that the other ones aren't desperate to get votes either, but they know that they don't have to do anything. And they'll pull their 35% who are going to vote for them no matter what they do and no matter what happens. And even if a scandal were to break and it were to be discovered that they were laundering money to, I don't know, who's the worst group you can think of? Uh, Nazis. There would still be those people who say, well, the media made up that story, I'm going to vote for them anyway. Yep. C-SPAN is really the best for that because they present it. As is, you can make up your mind. And then, I mean, the bad part about it, is, I guess, is nobody challenges you. But I, I went between watching C-SPAN and actually uh, watching Fox Business, because Neil Cavuto is just the greatest dude on television ever. I love that guy. I love his, his guests. I love the way he treats his guests. I think he knows that nobody's watching but me, so he just does what he wants, and it's awesome. I got caught on the Fox Business watching one of the primaries going to late night one night, and he was just so much more tolerable than everybody else. And I know he has a point of view, but I don't mind so much. I think it's just that because he is so kind of open and out there with it, and you know how he stands, and he's not going to BS you about how he stands, but he's, you know, he's, a, he's an all right dude. I like that dude. So don't let the fact that he works for a network of Fox in his name dissuade you. Because God, now to take the other side. I watched MSNBC for about three minutes and just couldn't, couldn't take it. Does that mean I'm conservative? No. Does it mean I'm anti-liberal? Some of my best friends are liberals. Xbox 360 releases. I'm going to go to the W and read that thread. You should, too. Uh, look, there's a countdown. There are 59 days until the first home game of the Minnesota Timberwolves season, the regular season. That's less than two months. Can you believe it? Where did the time go? Can you believe it's September already? My goodness. So much to catch up on. We've only scratched the surface. Let's see if I can stretch it out to a week. I haven't even got to your comments, and I know you left some because you are my sister-in-law. Thanks for watching today. I will be back tomorrow. The beard will probably not be back tomorrow. I'll have more on that then as well. Interesting thing about the beard. No, I'll save it for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. My 10 minutes is up. Bye.